When making opening arguments in a medical malpractice trial, is it better to go ahead and give an opening argument from the viewpoint of the injured patient in a timeline, or is it better to go ahead and give an opening argument from the viewpoint of the doctor? Would you like to learn the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you the answer to that question. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. All right, you might think it's so much better to go ahead and explain what happened from the viewpoint of the injured patient to now give the jury a sequence of a timeline of, hey, this is what happened when she walked in first, this is what the doctor did, this is what injuries he caused, this is what he did wrong. Well, guess what? I'm going to suggest something, and you might not realize how important this is. I'm going to suggest that the viewpoint of the injured patient in the form of a timeline is not the ideal strategy to make an opening argument. Now, you might be thinking, why not? You're the injured patient. You want to go ahead and tell the story? Well, guess what? I do want to tell a story, but I don't necessarily want to do it from the viewpoint of the injured patient. Now, why not? Well, because there are better and different strategies to make opening arguments. For example, the jury during opening arguments has no idea what your case is about. They don't know the details of exactly what happened. They don't know anything about what happened. They don't know what the wrongdoing was. And guess what? This is the perfect opportunity for me to go ahead and explain it to them. And the best way to do that is not necessarily from the viewpoint of the patient, but instead from the viewpoint of the doctor. And why is that? Because I want to show to the jury, I want to explain to the jury exactly what the standard of care was. I want them to understand what this doctor did, violated the basic standards of medical care, causing you significant harm and injury. That's the goal here. So now, after I show the jury how he violated the basic standards of medical care, guess what? I do want to go ahead and explain what happened from your viewpoint. So I will put that in during the course of opening arguments, but I will not start out that way, usually. There are different strategies that you can use to go ahead and explain things to the jury, and I want to capture their attention immediately. So, for example, the judge may turn to me and say, Mr. Ojinski, you may begin your opening arguments, at which time I get up and instead of making all sorts of pleasantries and telling the jury what opening arguments really are all about, I just launch into the story. Ladies and gentlemen, Sally was 25 years old when she was told that she had breast cancer. 25 years old! And now, it turns out that the doctors violated the basic standard of medical care. Why? Because they should have detected this breast cancer two years earlier! Come join me as I explain to you exactly what they should have done and what they really did and how their failure to recognize her breast cancer resulted in this cancer spreading throughout her body. What have I done here? I've now begun to tell a story about exactly what these doctors did and how they violated the standard of care. And ultimately, I will bring it around full circle to show how my client suffered significant harm and injury. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding as it begins to rain right now about how these types of cases work here in New York. You know, I realize you likely have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen here in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but have not done so yet because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516 487 8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. Well, that's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a wonderful day.